Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson. This is my cat, Tack. And today we're going to be reviewing my number four pick on my top ten fantasy list. And that is the 1982 classic, The Dark Crystal. This movie is awesome. It's for all ages. It's for everyone. Great story. Great writing. I mean, it's shot well. This has everything. You know, the story itself is so awesome and original that it gets me excited to do this review for it because this movie deserves to be seen by everyone. And anybody who is watching this video right now and has not seen The Dark Crystal, please do yourself a favor and watch this movie because you will end up loving it. And I know it's, you know, from the 1980s, you know, and it's puppets and everything, but the puppets were done by Jim Henson, which, you know, is the greatest, you know, special effects designer of all time. So this movie still holds up. I watch it on a regular basis at least once a year because I, I just love the story. You know, the, the dark crystal was once, you know, a bright crystal back in the past and then it got shattered and it split these beings that guarded the crystal into two separate races, the mystics and the skexies, you know, kind of good and evil was split and, you know, the gelflings were destroyed, which is this like humanoid race that lived, you know, prosperously, you know, back in the day. And uh, they were all killed by the Skeksis because it was prophesized that a Gelfling would, um, you know, reunite the shard of the Dark Crystal into the crystal itself and make the Bright Crystal again and restore balance to the universe. But the Skeksis don't want that because, you know, they're pretty much ruling the whole planet, you know, by, with show of force and power, you know, because evil is always more powerful. Um, but... You know, one Gelfling survived or two Gelflings survived, but Jin, you know, survived and he sent on this mission to get the shard and put the shard back into the crystal so he can restore balance in the, in the universe. And the Skeksis are trying to stop him the entire time. And the Skeksis are brilliantly designed. I mean, they, they look real. And the mystics, everything in this world looks real. You know, I was so impressed by this movie that... You know, when I saw it at such a young age, you know, I was only 10 when I first saw this. You know, I thought it was a real place, a real world. You know, this this stuff was just awesome to see on the big screen. And it blew my mind, you know. And nowadays, you know, I just respect Jim Henson. And, you know, his daughter's like helming the, you know, Henson Studios right now. And still doing an awesome job. Still working on stuff like Star Wars and stuff like that. So, you know, she's. I'm glad she's carrying on the tradition of her father. Um, because, you know, he is the best of all time in special effects, in my opinion. And this is truly a dedication to him. You know, to you can watch this movie and see why practical effects will always rule over the CGI crap that we have today. You know, if you're a young person and you haven't seen The Dark Crystal and you're into this stuff that they put out nowadays, you know, it's a big CGI fest, which some is great and some is really bad, but nothing will ever compare to good practical effects by, done by the master, Jim Henson. So check out this movie. It's for everyone of all ages. Definitely give it a watch. And I give it a 10 out of 10, even though it's number four on my top 10 fantasy list. But all movies on my top 10s are 10s out of 10s because there are hundreds and hundreds of these type movies and hundreds of fantasy movies. It was so hard to do this list, but I knew Dark Crystal was going to be up there and I knew it was going to be in the top five of what you're aware, but number four is where it is and I'm happy with that because the top three are friggin' just as awesome. So stay tuned for those, but let, you know, let me know about The Dark Crystal. Have you seen it? Let me know in the comments below what you think about the movie. Are you going to see it? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but anyway, like my videos. I hope you subscribe to my channel. And remember, guys, to always make yourself happy every day. And the only way to do that is to remember the only thing stopping you is you stopping.